that was necessarily the point of struggle, just trying to change things up, get your team underway, get them started on the right foot, maybe to rally from an early deficit. Didn't The scores did not reflect that. Losing 3-1 to one did the Pioneers last Friday, 5-1 to one on Saturday. Shot through a screen, puck loose out in front. Larson trying to track it and is finally able to get the glove to it. Gavin Hain whacking away at it from the left pad. I don't know, the neutral zone taken away there by Peterson. Emilio turns it around. Looking back for Cole Gutman, he'll slow it down and now drop it for Davies. Davies a shot and a save made by Adam Scheel. Slid across to Kierstad who throws it in down low and now scoops out in front. Off to the side of Larson and that one hit the post. Kierstad had an opportunity, it trickled through the crease. Good stick there by Weathersby to have the presence of mind on that cross ice. In front, another save made with the left pad by Larson. Right there for Denver and taken away by Jake Durflinger. Eric Fear ahead to Tyler Ward, reigning NCAC Rookie of the Month. Now loose high slot. Hankin, it throws it down low. Durflinger, Johnny on the spot, puts it home. Denver 1-0. And it gets deflected off of the stick of Kirstead. Over the last five games, though, Pioneers killing penalties at just a 63.2% rate. 12 of their last 19 on the PK. Kirstead throws one. It got deflected over the top of Larson and the crossbar across the slot. It's iconic. Back to Bernard Docker. Hoff with a one-timer to loose out in front. And Larson, I think, was able to poke it away from the stick of Adams at the last second, or at least got enough of it. Ian Mitchell finally able to come away with it, but trying to throw it out of the zone. It's iconic. Was right in the way. Shot right on. That one slips past Larson in between his legs. Still loose far side and cleared out into the corner. And David Carl and this staff have to be thrilled with what this freshman class has been able to do as McClellan slides it across. Barrow tips it in. Denver 2-0. And you talk about secondary scoring. All teams are looking for it. And the Pioneers have gotten it so far tonight. Ryan Barrow going hard to the net, getting his body to the net. Trying to build this to a three-goal lead here in the second. Walking in, Finley throws it in front, save made, Luco had a chance and couldn't get the stick to it, and it's cleared out by Nick Jones. Nice move there by Cole Smith to dance around a pioneer. Somehow that thing got centered in front of Larson, and now Larson gets taken down by Gavin Hayne, who kind of went under him, and we got fists flying. Gavin Hayne and Eric Fear getting into it. Weatherby, and a poke checked away by Griffin Mendel. Now here's Jones who throws one, and man, Larson with a late reaction, snaps the glove out. 30 shots for North Dakota. Larson's been up to the task, and he stops another one there with the right shoulder. Gawaguchi centered it. Nobody was home for the Fighting Hawks. But That's I mean, a shootout, for sure. A little bit. Right? That one thrown through a screen, got off the post. Larson didn't see it until it was back out in front of him. Are they going to say that went in? Yeah, the wow. ref is pointing to the net. He's calling it a goal. The overhead will be helpful for sure. Hit the post, goes right back out. And then when you're short-handed and you do it, in theory, Denver would have a five on three if Demon were able to move out. But that pressure is causing all sorts of problems for Denver. Penalty killed off by the Pioneers. Denver's back to full strength, but a chance there. Larson makes the save. It's iconic, sent it to the front of the net with numbers briefly. Gutman drops it back for Stapley. Open to Finley who shoots. Save made, puck loose, far side. Finley around, couldn't get it. Was looking to get it off the back, I think, of Scheel, who was out of position. Now Lancaster throws one in off the crossbar. Wins another one here. And 63.4% of his faceoffs this season coming into tonight. Loose puck in front, a lot of contact, still loose. And it's into the back of the net. Colin Adams got to it. North Dakota's onto the board. for several chances. Puck's not in the crease at the moment. Also no interference. That's Gardner that comes crashing in and the puck not in the crease at the time, but also Gardner not really interfering with Larson. So it's a one goal game. Gets it there, Yako Haken and throws it ahead. Here comes Barrow trying to get to it. Empty net, Barrow backhands it off the side of the goal. 
Couldn't paddle it back out in front. Hakenham was waiting there. Right. Liam across to Luco. Jared couldn't spring free from Kierstad for a second. Now gets down into the corner and gets absolutely lit up into the corner boards. And a penalty call coming here against Mark Sendin in North Dakota. From Fort Stapley's down there as well, I think, for Denver. Davies down there. Five seconds left in the Pioneers. Do it on that final pin job, they will.